I've had a real bad day, so much I want to say. I'll type away and rant until my fingers can't. It's social media meltdowns. 198, 199, 200. People, stop sending me your challenges. Welcome back to Social Media Meltdowns. I'm the creator, Sean Polofsky, and what you're about to see are a bunch of comedians and variety acts performing other people's real social media posts, comments, reviews from places like Yelp, Facebook, Twitter, Nextdoor, and more. So sit back, relax, while I work up a sweat. Jade's five-star rating, I was really looking forward to supporting small business by hiring them for my 350 guest wedding. But sadly, they are not interested in taking my money, and there's lots of it. They must not be in need for new clients, so Kudos to them. I've called several times, left messages on their answering service, and sent an email inquiry as instructed by their website. However, no one returns calls or emails. I am mystified. I only hope to become as successful as LJ's party supply someday where I can afford to deny people's money and business. Congratulations on your success. Hi, it's Aaron Foley. What a wonderful time to be alive. If you haven't left your house because of the pandemic, then this next post on Nextdoor app will make you never want to leave your house ever again. Enjoy. The subject heading is large orange hornets. Question mark, question mark, question mark. I've been living in LA for 12 years now, and I can honestly say I've never seen such a large flying insect aside from that buzzing green metallic dune bug. I was walking my dogs and noticed three large orangish hornets who came right at me. I ran so fast. Am I the only one noticing these? And why haven't I ever noticed them before? <sighs> Replies, OMG. Did not know they were in L.A., exclamation point. They're from Asia and have been spotted in Washington State. <gasps> Who are your sources? They destroy honeybees, and if a human gets stung repeatedly, it can be lethal, exclamation point, exclamation point. What next? Locusts? <laughs> Followed by an emoji of a unicorn that was either laughing or crying. Either way, it wasn't a good match. <sighs> oh, great. Now we can't even walk? Erg. A-R-G-H, ARG. I just read today about the Asian hornets. They are two inches long with a large head. Okay, creeper, killing off bee productions. Their stingers penetrate bee suits. How much you wanna bet this guy is posting while wearing a bee suit? But it's okay, because Brad from the Pico Robertson area is here to mansplain the entire situation. <laughs> Here's the likely thing that happened. Someone stayed up late reading fear journalism about, quote, Asian murder hornets. Went out and saw some wasp slash bumblebee slash hornets. Well, I didn't know that was a hybrid. And decided to make a post. The species found in Washington is invasive, yes. But there's a low likelihood that hornets made their way through an inhospitable forest across a desert and into your backyard. A.K.A. F off, Sheila. Reply, Janet. No, I have not seen them. But these hornets are known to kill at least 50 persons a year in Japan and also known for ripping off the heads of honeybees and taking their thorax to feed their young. They are called bold murder hornets. 
In conclusion, we have Peter from Rainier Village. I hope you reported it along with the location. Maybe they were pregnant wasps. It is the season. This is my review of the worst bar in Boston. First problem, ugly girls. You would think an upscale bar like this one would have hot chicks. Well, you're wrong. Overweight girls, no makeup on, butterfaces, you name it. On the plus side, I've had a couple one-night stands from this place. On the downside, they're really both ugly, and I could not even perform. Mm. Second problem, bathroom policy. The frickin' bathroom is outside the bar, and then it's hard to get back into the bar afterwards. They gave me a bathroom card, but it got lost while I was making out with one of the ugly chicks described above. The doorman remembered me, but wouldn't let me in without the bathroom card. Shouldn't he have been happy that I was helping him to remove some of the ugly chicks from the bar? Douchebag! Even if you do get back into the bar, the bathroom is still a long walk, especially if you're in the outside patio. I had to squeeze through a bunch of fat chicks and sweaty dudes just to get back into the inside ballroom where I had to squeeze through some more fat chicks and sweaty dudes just to get out to the lobby where I had to squeeze through some more fat chicks and sweaty dudes waiting there in line before I finally made it to the bathroom. It's so freaking crowded, I was worried if I'd get an STD. Hi, I'm gonna share some of my favorite content from the internet. And by that, I mean reviews on Amazon, in this case, for classic books. Let's start with To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, an American classic read all through high schools uh, and also performed all the time in theaters across the country, around the world. All right, here's the first one. One star. This review is for the condition of the book, not the stories within it. These are my favorite. I normally don't have a problem with old books. Good to know. This book was smelly and unpleasant. After Lysol, lucky, and airing it outside, it was still highly unpleasant. There should be a line drawn where a book is no longer pleasant to read or hold because it reeks, as in the literal scent of the book. <laughs> And then they just wrote, fuel for the fire. What fire? Okay, here's another one. One star. The book never arrived. Fine. Okay. Ooh, but then there's one star. The reviewers whose copy never arrived is lucky. This book is so overrated. Why do they give this book to kids to read in middle school? It has the killing of an animal and rape. And then they just wrote four question marks. That's a big question. But someone responded. I love these people. How do they have all the time? Okay, here's the response. <clears throat> First, I've taught middle school. Oof, perfect. And this book was never read in grades six through eight. Shade. It is a high school book. Second, you must read this book in context. The killing of the rabid dog is not a gratuitous act in the least. That is the only thing that can be done to a rabid animal. You idiot. There's no cure. The shooting of the dog is about two things. Taking the steps to do what is necessary when faced with little choice and having the decency to refrain from bragging about one's abilities. Jem and Scout learned only valuable lessons from this event. I would suggest you read it again. When you are older, I assume that you are young because of your name, Dragon19. <gasps> I could be wrong, but this review sounds like one from a young person who hasn't read many books considered great literature. My name is Samson McCormick and y'all, I was on Twitter and came across this girl crazy as all cat giving out dating advice. She said, 
A guy ordering dessert on a date is a red flag for me. That's a female thing to do, for real. It's a red flag for me. For me. If a guy is on a date with a woman, the woman should be the only one asking for appetizers and dessert. Men eat meals. Like, seriously. You can just taste some of whatever I order. I would seriously rather a order two meals than to order an appetizer before his meal. If you're that damn hungry, you look sassy ordering a spinach dip. It's social media meltdowns. Yelp reviews of Elat Market strike again. Elat is the market in Los Angeles serving the Persian Jewish community, and the terrible Yelp reviews just don't stop. Everyone is blocking the aisles, kissing one another as if they haven't seen each other since the Iranian Revolution. I would rather be in a Turkish prison. This place is horrible. I had three Persian ladies bang me with their cards. This is the only bad review I have ever written. I could forgive the fact that the pistachios I purchased were rotten and had cobwebs, but when I attempted to return them, the manager let loose a tirade of insults, basically calling me a liar. Oh, really? Borotwam with the rotten and cobwebs. Only thing rotten and cobwebs is your brains. <laughs> you think it's funny you come in here, lie for me, bring for me bad reputation for family business, get out. American liar. Okay, fortunately, next door is Glotmart, and that store has a very courteous staff and fresher produce. When I told their salesman, Noah, about my awful experience at Elot, he graciously offered me some free sesame crunch. Oh, mother bitch, go to Glot. We have a better, and we don't give a free here. Peter Sagan, la jan, fake me, call him mad Johnny Miguel, sesame crunch. Go to Glot. I battled the insanity that is Elat Mark, and when I returned to my car, I noticed I forgot something from my recipe, but they had closed already. I saw the cashier locking the door, so I ran there and I told her about my situation, and she barked at me. Don't bring to me your recipe and don't come back with your face, your gay face, your big fat gay face. I will give you hex to your face with my face. My bread had green mold, my oranges were bitter, and the meat was way overpriced. So I simply called to explain, and they acted like I didn't understand a word of English. Hello. So sorry is no English here, is only Farsi. Thank you, so sorry. Thank you, thank you. Yes, come again. Bye bye. <laughs> yes, stupid Americans. I spent $39 on saffron. Now you pay for your spices in a different location than the checkout. But when I got to the checkout, my saffron was gone. Some customer stole it from my cart. What? You accuse me from a stealing? I don't need your a saffron, mother bitch. I have my own saffron and my own money. Bitch thinks saffron is gold. <laughs> mother bitch. I just bought produce yesterday, including eggplant. But when I peeled them, they were dark brown inside, which meant that they were frozen. And now they defrosted them. <laughs> Our eggplant is fresh. Don't give me frozen. Your face is frozen. I need a shot of vodka before I go there. It's because you alcoholic. Drink, 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 alcoholic. I sat there and watched one woman sampling, or should I say stealing grapes. What? He's a sample. I must sample before I buy. 22 grapes in one minute is not sampling. Yeah, yes, he's a sample. He's okay. And finally, there's more yelling going on there than the New York Stock Exchange. Too many women with their fake Chanel's. <gasps> it is a real Chanel. Chanel. It's a 
Irvan. He's a real one. You don't know what I have to do for my husband. Make for him, buy for his Chanel. No, you come for me safe, fake. He's a real Chanel. <laughs> watching social media meltdowns don't forget to subscribe and like us on youtube you can also follow us on instagram at social media meltdowns and if you look below there's a link to patreon you can donate there to the comedians and producers who work really hard to put together this show special shout out to sdlgtbn.com and sdpix.com and we'll see you next week i'm gonna go eat a cake a whole one. <sighs> Get me out of this quarantine! <laughs> real bad day. So much I want to say. I'll type away and rant until my fingers can't. It's social media meltdown.